I will say in the last couple of years, like I, I did, um, I, I did connect with Andrew Tate, um, before he popped off on social media when he only had a few hundred thousand followers. And I did, I did talk to him quite a bit and I, and I did see his, his content and I, I, and it was cool. I liked how he basically would talk about anything. He didn't just stick to, you know, promoting his offer and, and he would talk about, about anything, be candid. I, 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 you know, as far as uh, charisma, I found he was very, uh, in interviews and stuff, very charismatic and, and very like dialed in. So I did, when I saw him, like before he really popped off, I was like taking some notes. I'm like, hey, he really, really knows how to like capture uh, attention. He really knows how to like, you know, really like, come across well on, on camera. And, and he also kind of plays it up a little bit. He turns it up a little bit, he, even just in, not even in what he says, he does that of course, but in the way he says it, he magnifies emotions, um, which is really, really actually really powerful. Um, and, uh, and, and actually, you know what, to give credit where credit's due. I think like when I did that, who else ad that really took off, who else? I just, what I, what I liked about what he did, and this is also on dopamine, right? Like I think, I think the way he, he, uh, I think he actually trained his dopamine system very well because him and his brother would just be having so much fun. Most people in London or in Europe, they're like, start to make money. They're shyest, they're sheepish. Oh, you know, we got to hide it. People don't want, people don't like flexing. And he'd be like, we're flexing on the broke boys and lamb. Like, he just, it's like a six year old has a hundred million dollars. And so having fun with it and just telling yourself, you're so awesome. We have all this. Yeah, it's arrogant but it actually is very good for your dopamine system. It gets you excited. When you punish yourself from having success and oh, I shouldn't share it, it actually takes the fun out of it and it can actually uh, uh, dampen that dopamine response. Um, and again, you know what? Um, uh, they can test this out. Test this out. Don't just take my word as voice of God. Test your dopamine. Try these different things out. Talk to yourself this way. See what happens over a long enough time frame. Um, but I, I have firsthand experience. Like when you, when you have fun with it and you really like, you know, okay, you're getting, oh, we're having a Lambo. You're like, so it just, the way he, the way he operated was very, very good for motivation. Extremely, extremely good for motivation. Um, and then in that who else video, uh, so one of the things that he would do pretty well, would he would ramp up the way he talked and he would speak, like he would just, if he was good, like he would 10 exit. Awesome. Like, you know, um, and so you can be arrogant, some arrogance, it gets people to listen and they like it. When you speak with absolute confidence, you cut through the noise. Um, so a lot of people are kind of raised and we're actually raised, oh, you know, don't stand out, you know, you know, kind of like, you know, you don't want to upset people. You don't want to break a few eggs, like just kind of be likable, be likable. And so the way that most kids are raised is to be likable, okay? And that's fine, right? The problem with that is that you fit in and it's very hard to separate from the pack when you're focused on being likable. Mm -hmm. And yes, you don't wanna be a dickhead and yes, you wanna be kind and yes, you wanna treat people well. All of those things are extremely important, okay? But if you're gonna separate from the pack, you have to be willing to take a little bit of heat and you have to be able to like raise the noise, raise the temperature a little bit. You just have to do it in calibrated ways. Like you can do it the wrong way and, and just make uh, a mess for no reason. Um, but by like, being, by, by kind of being like, yeah, I am the fucking shit. And like, yeah, this is freaking awesome. And like, who else is doing it? Who else? It's like people freaking love that shit. And I, and people respond to that. When you see someone that speaks with absolute confidence, absolute conviction, you're like, I want to listen. And then at first you might be like, at first, and this is actually very, very normal. Okay. And this is actually not a bad thing. At first, when you, someone speaks with absolute conviction and confidence, you're going to be like, this guy's full of shit. This guy is full of shit. And you keep listening and you're looking to see, okay. Is this guy full of shit? You're looking for it and looking for it. And if the proof is there, then you're like, fuck, good, okay? Like, hell yeah. So if you actually have the result and if you're real, you can actually magnify the way you talk, speak with absolute confidence and authority and people will come at you and they'll be looking for the chink in your armor. And as long as they can't find it, they'll be like, fuck yeah. This guy's awesome, this guy's dope. But uh, again, you can't have the chink in your armor. So I mean, uh, when I speak with absolute conviction and confidence, I'm like, well, here's my blood work. Well, here's my eight years of DEXA scans. Well, here's thousands of transformations of insane results. Here's me repping 315 on bench for six reps at 175. Like it's just so much freaking proof. It's like, fuck, okay, well, no one else is showing that. So, all right, fucking, I'm buying this program. So you have to be able to back it up, but if you can back it up, you can magnify the conviction and the, the, the conviction in how you speak.